muscles, we can see a cross section of the front muscular wall. The contents of the abdomen, called the viscera, include the liver, the stomach, the large and small intestines, and other organs. The abdominal muscles support and hold in the viscera. The diaphragm, seen here in cross-section, fits snugly over the top of the viscera. When the diaphragm contracts, it pushes against the viscera and the abdominal muscles, which must relax in order to permit the full descent of the diaphragm. The viscera combine to form quite a large mass, which is moved on every breath. Because the stomach is located beneath the diaphragm, eating a large meal before singing would interfere with a deep inhalation. The movement is minimal during normal daily breathing when we inhale a relatively small amount of air and exhale by simply relaxing our diaphragm and ribs. However, for singing we need more breath control. Inhalation must be larger and exhalation must be slower and more precisely controlled. Let's look back at a front view of the abdominals. The extra control that you need comes from a principle called muscle antagonism, which means two muscles pull against each other. In this case, there's a pull between the abdominals and the external intercostals, which, as you'll remember, are located between each of the ribs. The external intercostals pull upward and outward, expanding the ribs. While the abdominals pull in the opposite direction, downward and inward, against the open rib cage. Because the abdominals are anchored at the ribs and at the pelvis, as they contract, the force goes steadily inward and upward against the viscera, against the diaphragm, and finally against the bottom of the lungs, causing the air to flow out. This abdominal force, in opposition to the external intercostals in the diaphragm, gives the singer maximum control. Let's look at the side view again, where we will see another stabilizing factor for breath control. Remember that the abdominals wrap all around the front and sides of the body and are firmly attached to the ribs. Looking again at the sliced view, also remember that the huge mass of viscera fits snugly between the abdominals and the diaphragm. And that in a normal breath, the diaphragm contracts to inhale and then simply relaxes to exhale. In a breath for singing, however, the diaphragm contracts to inhale as usual, but then as singing begins, the diaphragm remains contracted and the abdominal muscles contract, pushing the viscera steadily upward against the diaphragm which only gradually yields, creating a smooth and even pressure against the bottom of the lungs, consequently creating a smooth and even outflow of air. The downward force of the diaphragm against the upward force of the abdominals creates a line of opposing pressures that gives the singer precise control of the outward flow of air. These opposing pressures are felt in everyday activities. Imagine the delicate sensation in your abdomen when blowing a dandelion or a candle, or the powerful sensation when grunting or lifting weights. For singers, whether powerful or delicate, the opposing pressures are trained to become well coordinated so that they feel smooth, steady, buoyant, easy, and open, 
and gives singers command of a wide range of musical expressions, powerful or delicate, staccato or legato, long or short. To summarize, the lungs, because they are organs and not muscles, cannot move by themselves. The ribs, which surround the sides and front of the lungs and are moved by the intercostal muscles, and the diaphragm, which fits along the bottom of the lungs, together expand the lungs downward and outward, creating a partial vacuum in the lungs that causes the air to flow in. Then, in a normal breath, the ribs and diaphragms simply relax, compressing the air in the lungs, causing the air to flow out. For singing, however, much finer control of the outflowing air is needed, control which comes from the abdominals, the intercostals, and the diaphragm. During inhalation, the diaphragm and the intercostals contract, expanding the lungs downward and outward as usual. But then, the intercostals keep the ribs open, and the abdominals, because they're stabilized at the ribs and the pelvis, contract, pressing inward and upward. Pressing inward and upward against the viscera and the diaphragm, creating a smooth, steady upward pressure against the bottom of the lungs, which provides singers the controlled, steady airflow they need. This type of breathing feels satisfying and complete, without a sensation of crowding the lungs with air or excessive muscular effort. Understanding the function of the lungs and the mechanical process of breathing is only one step in breathing for artistic singing. The larger picture of breathing includes combining the mechanical process with the natural expression of your many emotions to color your performance with what you want until it is rich, fully realized, and compelling to you.